This self-audit is best suited to a laptop or desktop PC. It cannot be completed on a smartphone. Click on Membership, choose Accreditation. Make sure you read all this information, including the frequently asked questions. There is also a printable brochure available. If you need more information, simply contact us. When you have read the information, scroll back to the top and click here to create your account. Complete your details, create a password and then click Sign Up. Shortly you will receive a confirmation email to verify your identity. Click on it and you will be taken to your login page. Add your details and sign in. Select New Form, then VACC Accreditation. Scroll down to read everything in this section. Read and accept the terms and condition, then fill in your details. Everything with an asterisk must be completed. Continue to read and understand the five pillars, pillar one, pillar two, pillar three, pillar four, pillar five. Let's look at each of the five pillars. Each pillar has its own resources. They can be opened, viewed, printed and saved for future reference. You must answer yes to each question. You can browse and upload files here to answer the question. Is the VACC Code of Business Practice on view? If yes, take a photo and upload it here. If no, download it here. Print it out, place it on the front counter, take a photo and upload it here. Each of the five pillars works in a similar way with questions and requirements such as photos, screenshots and documents. Pillar two is about complaints. Download and open the Word document, copy and paste into a new document to remove the watermark. This is the customer complaints policy. Personalise it with your own company's requirements. Pillar 3 is about privacy. Download an open privacy overview document to get an understanding of what is required. Click here to download documents. The Privacy Policy Overview and Template documents were developed by VACC IR for you to personalise and use within your business. Ensure your business logo and details are included. The same applies for IT. The Security and Password Protection Policy Procedure document is a tool for you to download and use to assess your business. It should reflect the rules and requirements of your business for all individuals accessing your systems. This link will take you to an in-depth overview of IT security. Are key staff aware of security systems in place and how to use them? You will find valuable information on this site. Pillar 4, Reducing Customer Risk. Click on these sites and read the WorkSafe information if unsure. The answer to this question must be yes. Upload the required documents. Answer yes and upload registration document. Pillar 5, Business Competence. You need to read and understand the requirements, then click yes. Make sure to save as draft. Hint, save to favourites in your browser. You can return to your save draft by clicking here or go to your favourites in your browser. You can revisit your form here at any time. Click on My Forms, then click Action. When you are satisfied with all your answers, submit the self-audit. You will receive an email with a link to the training module when you have submitted and passed all the required pillars. Anyone in your business can complete the training module. It's fine if you need to make multiple attempts, as the goal of the training module is to provide competency resources for your business to use. Good luck, we look forward to hearing from you.